What do you think is the most interesting thing that you heard out on the Quasette today? I was shocked to hear the content uh, will be twice the size for next year, actually. I'm very surprised uh, and amazed. I don't know if I'm surprised about that. I mean, everyone's talking about content marketing, aren't they? Yeah, but it's twice the size, huh? Twice in a year. Yeah, but that, that's, is that exponential growth or is that just kind of the fact that the baseline is quite low today and actually more marketers are getting into it? I think there's a there's an interesting debate to be had about whether doubling in size is necessarily a big growth. You look at the speed of Facebook growth, you look at the speed of Twitter's growth, you look at the speed of Snapchat's growth. Is doubling in size that big a deal, do you reckon? You're, you're, you're spot on, spot on. Term. So Paul, today's theme was clear, was storytelling. Outcome from that is passion. Everybody agreed that you need to write content and storytelling with passion. What's your thoughts uh, on that? I mean, passion's what dri drives this industry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we all do, whether you're creating entertainment for a 30 second ad or creating a series. Um, and I thought, what Ralph, Rafe, whatever his name is, that very famous very uh, actor, Fiend, Fiends, can't even say his second name, either, <laughs> or his first name, um, he talked about ideas being the most explosive things that people can do today. And I think that shows you that passion and ideas are what drive this industry. So there's lots of algorithms, lots of data, Google, Facebook are here, but it's never going to get away from being human and people, being yes. about people. And I think storytelling being here, when you've got Microsoft, Google, owning this closet, is a good thing, right? It's Absolutely. not just about a computer or a robot. So we are obviously here today at the social newsroom, the Havas social newsroom, and we've been watching what's trending every day, working out what people are talking about. Um, and the key thing, the key competition was between two people. Mm -hmm. Courtney Love, who was at the Facebook party last night, okay. um, and Mr. Leto. Um, who do you think would have been the person that gathered most social momentum? I would go for Courtney if I can. The real, the winner was Leto by I think a margin, a considerable margin. He oh, was wow. way, way ahead of Courtney Love. So cool. Courtney Love, Nirvana days are gone. So this was the Rosé Roundup for today. Thank you.